Hey guys and welcome! I'm your host, Dave Video Studio, here with Lizzie and HD. So recently, I played a fan-made Pokemon game called Pokemon Uranium that debuted on August 6th of 2016. Created by JV and Involuntary Twitch, the pseudonyms that they go by. It's set in the Tandor region, loosely based off Brazil, and you go through the basic Pokemon journey of choosing your starter, collecting the 8 gym badges, and defeating the Pokemon League. Then here's an interesting spin about the main conflict. You have to stop a villain named Kiri and the legendary Pokemon Uranium, who are causing nuclear disasters all over the region. The new type in this game is the nuclear type, in which Pokemon of that type are strong against every other type except for steel, as well as super weak against every type except for nuclear, basically making them glass cannons. It's a very unique challenge that you have to be more strategic when dealing with them. I really like this game, as well as those who did play it. The creators spent years working on this game to make it as good as they could. And best of all, it's free to play. I especially love the fan-made Pokemon. A lot of thought and time went into the concepts, origins, designs, and gameplay mechanics of them. The gems in Pokemon League are also non-traditional to mix things up which I thought was pretty cool. The fans may have loved the game. Nintendo, however, well, wasn't so kind to it. How bad was it? Nintendo ordered a cease and desist letter to the creators and tried to get the fan game banned, even going so far as threatening to sue them unless they agreed to stop developing the game. Yeah, what started out as a well-meeting dedication to a franchise these guys loved turned into a legal hassle. Luckily, it's still available to download on the Pokemon Uranium Reddit page, and it's not illegal to play, so you guys should be fine playing it. Now onto the main question. Why did Nintendo ban this game in the first place? Well, the reasons vary. One is that it was becoming more popular in searches than Pokemon's upcoming new game, Sun and Moon. Nintendo felt threatened that it could hurt the sales on Sun and Moon and ordered the cease and desist on the developers two days after release. So how did this game continue on despite the ban? Well, a few weeks later, two dedicated fans going by the names L and Cody overtook the development and Uranium lived on. Even though I really love the game, there are some nitpicks I have with it. It feels unfinished, such as only having 195 out of the 200 Pokemon in the game. The five still needing to be obtainable are the Sea Monster Trio, Vitatau, Leviathal, and Krakenau, the two legendary Pokemon, Aeotius and Mutios, and the mythical Pokemon Zephy. Then there are the glitches. The one that I faced was in the Hall of Fame. After my entire team was registered, out of nowhere it just restarted for my last save! It turns out that I had to press Control shift to get the save right. So yeah, that was frustrating! Anyway, to close this up on better terms, here's the team I went with on my journey. Electroso, my water electric starter Pokemon. Nucleon, the nuclear type evolution. S51A, the psychic steel alien Pokemon. Hiroloon, the ground fighting Pokemon. Freaky Tiki, the grass fire Pokemon and Chainite, the Ghost Dark Pokemon. And there you have it. Pokemon Uranium is a lot of fun despite all the hassles it's been through with Nintendo trying to ban it and a few bugs the player had to face. And for the love of Arceus, do not feel overconfident while playing this game. You will regret it. It is that tough. Some people have said that the official games are too easy, which I don't think so, but whatever. So, if you want a more challenging Pokemon game, well, Uranium's for you! The link to download the game will be in the description, but it only works for PC computers, just so you know. So what do you think of Pokemon Uranium? Are you thinking about playing it? Have you played it? What do you think of it? Okay, that's about it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Dave Video Studio, signing out. Until next time, stay tuned and stay golden!